Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the types of functional dependency. Guys, please learn the topic from here, guys. Even if you don't understand the definition of functional dependency, it's fine. But you need to learn from here the functional dependency. If you learn functional dependency, you will be getting normal forms. If you get normal forms, you can do normalization. So these three topics are interrelated completely. So that's the reason why you need to learn this topic really perfectly. So full functional dependency, partial functional dependency, transitive functional dependency, trivial functional dependency, non-trivial functional dependency. So these are the all possible four functional dependencies. Fine. So now understand the concept that I am saying. So basically full functional dependency. So basically full functional dependency says that a non-key will depend on key. So here we will be assuming the value of A as key and B, C, D as non-keys. So here a key sorry a non key is here a tends to b right so a non key b is depending on a so that is nothing but full functional dependency so remember f f d means non key depending on key so the arrow should be reversed basically fine okay so now let us go through partial functional dependency so partial function dependency says that non key attribute is depending on part of key so you may ask me that what is this part of key now so basically if you consider a b is our key it is depending it is arrowed to c where c is a non key so here we can say that it is f d d full functional dependency whereas b to d so here a part of key is having the direction towards the non key so here non key is depending on part of key hence this comes under partial functional dependency fine okay so now let us go through trivial sorry transitive transitive is nothing but a non key depending on non key is nothing but transitive so a non key is depending on another non key is nothing but transitive whereas trivial trivial is nothing but if a tends to b if b is the subset of a b is the subset of a then it is trivial if else it is non trivial so i hope everyone got a small idea on all the five different types of functional dependencies which we have discussed now if possible please make some time and please watch the tutorial again or please go through the theoretical topics once again so that you can remember or you can notify a small trick for it fine so in the next tutorial we'll be going through normal forms thank you thanks for watching